Our first step in creating a crowd is to create an archetype. An archetype is really just a set of rules that our crowd will follow while it moves through our level. And creating one is very easy. Let's open up the content browser, and I'll expand Actor Classes. Now, underneath Actor Classes, locate up at the top, you'll see Crowd Agent Base, underneath which is Game Crowd Agent, and then Game Crowd Agent Skeletal, and underneath that, you'll see UT Game Crowd Agent. Right-click on this and choose Create Archetype. Now, this is going to ask for some package information, so I'm going to put this in a package called Crowd Demo Package and in a group called Archetypes, and we'll give it the name Crowd Archetype. Now, if we jump back over to the content browser, we see our archetype. And as I mentioned, this is really just a collection of rules, essentially properties. And if we double click, we can see all of these properties. Now, I'm not going to be going through all these. We're just going to leave all of them at default right now. But it would be worth your while to spend some time playing with these because you can really get some interesting behaviors. You can change things uh, ranging from just how long the dead bodies will stay if you start shooting your uh, your various crowd agents. You can change the health of your bots. You can control how they move. You can even control the skeletal mesh that's being used. So let's go ahead and close this up. And let's take a look at our next step. So we have our archetype in place. The next thing I want to add is a way to control how our crowd agents are going to move through our level. So to do this, we need a very particular actor. I'm going to jump back into the actor classes browser. And if we take a look down here, we see game crowd interaction point. Expand that, and you'll see game crowd destination. Let's go ahead and select that actor. Close out the actor classes browser, and I'm going to right click right here on the floor of my level and choose add game crowd destination here. You can think of these like waypoints. These are how your, your little crowd agent is going to be running around the level. And we need to make a network of these to move our crowd agents from one spot to the other. So let me start off here in the top view. We have our first agent, or I'm sorry, our first destination here in place. Let me hold down the Alt key, and I'm going to drag a copy over here into our next room. And we'll just kind of line it up with the hallway. Now let's hold down Alt again, and I'll drag out another copy. And we'll hold down Alt again and drag out another copy. And this one I'll put all the way against the back wall. Now just creating these is not enough. We have to link them all together so that we start off over here, then we run to the second one, then run to the third, and run to the fourth, and so on. We do that by setting up a specific property inside these actors. So I'll start off by double-clicking our first destination. And you'll see Game Crowd Destination. If we expand this, there are several properties we can play with. Among them is Next Destinations. Now, by default, this is blank. It has nothing that you can add into it. So we need to click the Add New Item button, and that adds Index 0. Now, we need to place our next actor in here. So what you got to do is lock your Properties window. So click the little Lock Selected Actors button. And now you can select the next waypoint without losing your current selection. So we'll go ahead and just select him. i got to zoom in to do it. Now with that selected, I'm going to click the green arrow, which says use selected object in content browser, but it's not. It's actually grabbing the selected destination actor here in your scene. And there we go. So now we're running from the first point to the second point, which you can verify. If you go all the way back and click on your first point, you'll now see a yellow line connecting the two. Now we need to do this all the way around to complete our network. So I'm going to unlock my properties window, click on my second waypoint, and then relock my properties window. Come up here to the third point. We'll add a new item into the next destinations. Select that third point, And then click our green use button. Now unlock your properties window and just double check, make a test. So we click and there we go. There's our yellow line going from the second point to the third. Now let's select the third point. Once again, we're going to lock. Come over to the fourth point. Over in next destinations, add a point or I'm sorry, add an item, and then click Use. Now let's unlock and do a quick test to make sure that everybody is connected. So here we are from the first waypoint. We have a nice line running to the second. Then we have a nice line running to the third. And finally, if we select this guy around the static mesh, we have a nice line running to the fourth and final one. All right, now this last actor, 
I'm going to double click it and take a look at its properties one more time. There's a particular setting I'm going to activate here called kill when reached. This means that once the crowd agents make it to this point, they're going to cease to exist. And I'm going to go ahead and check must reach exactly. That way they don't die early. Essentially, it means they're going to run all the way back to the back wall before they die. So we can close out the properties. Now at this point, we have our archetype. We have a network of kind of like path nodes in a way, some destination points that our crowd agents can run around. What I'm going to do is have you go ahead and save here, and then when we come back, we'll take a look at how we can use Kismet to start spawning our crowd agents into the map.